In video number 213, I introduced an innovative problem solver based on intelligent questions. It should help at debugging. I asked you, my viewers, to provide me with your best questions. What is the result, if any? And what are we going to do with it? Gritzy YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. In this last video, I set up a Google Sheet for everybody to enter their best questions. And I promised to come back to you for the presentation and also for awarding the best of them. Let's start with the results. I watched the list growing every day, in the first days fast, later slower, precisely as expected. Today, when I wanted to start consolidation, I only saw this on our spreadsheet. Unfortunately, we were hit by the dark side of the internet. You might have been able to predict such a behavior and you would have warned me not to open the sheet to the public. But I am a die-hard optimist and I refuse to adopt my beliefs to the worse. My father at 93 always said that he is not interested in things which do not work anymore. He only is interested in things which still work and he died as a happy man. Even if I do not want to change my beliefs, I sometimes adopt my behavior. Wear a helmet on my motorized or unmotorized bikes, eat healthy food and exercise if I find the time. And choose Google Sheets also for the reason they keep a change log. So I was able to quickly revert to a status before this silly behavior of an anonymous ass and we can continue. In the end, you provided 197 questions. Thank you very much. Some of you were more productive than others. No name was the most productive, followed by Sven Peters, 1965. And even Karl Marx made its appearance. I'm pretty sure you are honored about our fellow viewers. Let's analyze the input a little. The first analysis is a simple one. Does the question end with a question mark? 87% ended with one and obviously were questions. The other 13 were more like recommended actions, which is not according to the theory, but still helpful. Theory distinguishes between open and closed questions. Open questions usually start with what, why and how and are considered as more helpful in education and problem solving. If we look at the lines with a question mark, we see that only a fraction of our questions are open questions. This seems to be very typical as it is easier to create closed questions. Enough linguistic analysis from a guy who hated languages when he was young and discovered its power only at a certain age. I copied all questions into the productive part of the sheet. Your device should now show them if you use the API. And you can look at them with the provided link in the description. I promised you I would ask you for a ranking. This seems to be more difficult than I thought. Most multiple choice services only offer a few choices, not 200. So the only thing I can offer is that you comment on the Google Sheet itself. You either can down or upvote and after a few weeks, I will count the votes and adjust the ranking accordingly. This was my first attempt to create collaboration. The next is the summer project, which is still running. And you will hear some more announcements shortly. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.